I just want to do a quick video for you guys out there on my RX 570 4GB overclock settings that I use for mining Ravencoin here in April of 2021. Uh, so as you can see, uh, these are the settings that I'm using here. This is, of course, Hive OS. That's the operating system. And I recommend if you are going to be considering mining, of course, use a Linux based operating system. Either Hive OS or Rave OS are the two that I've personally used and would recommend. So I'm just going to go over my settings and why I've chosen them. And then in the later half of the video, I'll go over my thought process and why specifically I'm running these clocks. But as you can see here, as a general overview for all most of my RX 570s, I'm running 1100 megahertz on the core with about 1750 megahertz memory clock. Of course, this is the RX 580. It's a little bit different story, um, but we'll talk about that maybe in another video if you guys request. Uh, but the reason I'm running 1100 megahertz on the core, similar to Ethereum mining, is because 1100 megahertz can run at a very low voltage, which means the card will run more efficient. The voltages that you can see I'm running here are anywhere from as high as about 810. I have some like not as good quality silicon RX 570s that need around 830 millivolts to run this. Uh, but in general, the reason I'm running 1100 megahertz on the core is because I can run that low voltage and these are the voltages that I've used. Of course, your voltage mileage will vary. Every card is a little bit different, but as you can see, I've got uh, 11 RX 570s here and majority of them can run a very nice low around 800 millivolts. Um, for the memory, I'm running 1750 megahertz because Mining Ravencoin, the ratio between core clock and memory clock is a little bit different than Ethereum. Ethereum, you can generally run 1100 megahertz on the core with 2000 megahertz for memory, but for Ravencoin, it is more core intensive, which means at 1100 megahertz, I'm not going to get any benefit of hash rate if I run anything higher than 1750 uh, for the given core clock. Now, going more into the thinking behind these settings, uh, if I want to get Get a higher hash rate. So let's say I want to set this uh, memory clock to 2000. I'm not going to do this here because my, my rig's running relatively stable. I don't want to deal with stuff. But anyways, let's say I want to get a higher hash rate in Ravencoin and I don't mind the additional power consumption because remember this, this is the, just the key factor uh, with mining. And in my opinion, I go for efficiency over uh, the amount of hash rate because at the end of the day, if you have to pay a lot more in electric and if it's going to be running hotter, hence summer's coming, uh, you're probably going to want to run these uh, more efficient settings. But anyways, if you have to increase the core clock, that automatically means we need to increase the core voltage so it runs stable, which means we're going to be drawing more power. It also goes the same thing with memory. I didn't know this until I actually tested it with a wall meter and uh, checked the wattage from the wall. When you overclock your memory, it uses more power. So 1750 megahertz uses less power than 1800, 1900, 2000, and so on. So yeah, this, this is the specific reason why I'm running these settings. So if you want a higher hash rate, it means you need to bump up your core clock in order to run more uh, a higher memory clock. And I'll, I'll put a screenshot up on the uh, on the screen here for you guys to see. Uh, these are not efficient settings. I do not recommend you guys copy this unless you're like, F this. I, I've got good quality power supplies. I don't mind pulling 3,000 or 5,000 watts from the wall. Obviously, it doesn't use that much, but when you do overclock your cards, uh, they use significantly more power the higher voltage, the higher clocks you put in. But anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up here. As you can tell, I'm not too great at making videos. I just wanted to share this with like with you guys out there, whoever is watching, because I know, for example, when I first started mining... Um, there's a lot of people who are learning and they're in different stages and uh, it's really cool to see how many people in the community are actually sharing their overclock settings, what they've learned. There's a lot of people like myself who've actually tested a lot of these cards and found optimal settings to run, but then you also have some people who are just entering the space. They haven't had the many months of experience overclocking, undervolting, trying to find the most optimal setting. So then they share like, oh, like for example, when I started mining, this is going into story time here, but when I started mining, the first, like, the first video or first forms that I found is uh you run like the clocks you should run are 1100 megahertz on the core with 900 millivolts on voltage and then set your memory to like 2000 this was for ethereum back maybe let's say in the summer or something but because i just followed that guy's advice blindly without understanding his thinking or trying stuff out i never realized for probably six six months or whatnot that you can undervolt your video card 
lower than 900 mega, uh, millivolts on the core, which meant I was drawing an extra 20 watts per GPU. And you figure you do that over a couple months, like that cost, that the, the cost adds up there in the electricity bill. And then it also adds up into that your, your cards are producing more heat. So basically all I wanted to really do with this video was share with you, I found these to be really optimal settings for power consumption is if that's something you'll be concerned about as well. When you run lower voltages, you're also going to be producing less heat, hence undervolting. So I don't know what you get away from this video. Hopefully you learned something. If you'd like me to share more settings, because I've also got, uh, or a friend of mine actually has some RX 5700 XTs. We can maybe do a quick video on that as well for mining Ethereum using Team Red Miner and how we use the, uh, I think he uses the B mode or whatnot, how to get some really good efficient hash rate and efficiency and stuff like that. But um, yeah, hopefully you learned something. In summary, I'll just quickly summarize what we went over here. For the RX 570, if you want really good uh, watt per hash, um, you want to use these settings, basically 1100 megahertz on the core, anywhere from 800 to 780 for the millivolts, and then leave your memory around 1750 megahertz. Now, you don't have to take what I say like as set in stone. This is where, of course, as a GPU miner yourself, you're going to want to test these settings out yourself. And like, is this guy on the video, does he actually know what he's talking about? Let me try 2000 megahertz on the core with only 1100 megahertz for mining Ravencoin. Does, does the hash rate actually not go up that much? And then you can also test the like test this out for yourself. Put 1200 megahertz core set um, set voltage to 900, so it's stable, of course, and you'll see your hash rate rise. Of course, assuming you overclock the memory. Now, quick side note: the RX 580 is a lot different. It has more cores than the RX 570. That's why we're getting a lot higher hash rate, and I have the memory overclocked higher because it's a different card. That's where don't copy settings from an RX 580 for your RX 570. They're two different cards, and this is kind of like. Of course, if you're a beginner, you're not going to necessarily know all the ins and outs of all the cards, that they have different specs, different memory bandwidth, different core amounts, and how that affects to each algorithm. But I do, I do encourage you to at least test things out. Of course, you can always start with what someone recommends, but always test things out for yourself. Maybe on my GPU... Um, 800 millivolts is the lowest I can go, but you can then test in your rig, set yours to 7, 790, set yours to 780, do it until it crashes. If it crashes and you just bump the voltage back up, you restart the rig, see if it can run stable for a day. If it doesn't, then you bump the voltage back up. And ideally, like this is kind of where I see how I would set up my mining rig. Ideally is you want to get everything set up to the best watt per hash in order it for in order for the rig to run stable for a long time because sure if you're saving an extra 15 watts uh, but your rig consistently crashes it's not worthwhile doing right because it takes you a lot of time to maintain there so of course you want to pick the most efficient clocks for of course power consumption and hash rate but also for your time and maintenance and that's where you're always going to learn you're just going to play around with different settings until you find something to work off of but hopefully you can use these settings as a good base to start from and remember Ravencoin is a lot more core dependent than Ethereum algorithms which means you want a higher hash rate you got to bump up that core clock then you can overclock the memory. Anyways, hopefully you take something away from this video. I know it was a pretty rambly one there. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you learned something. And if you did, you can definitely let me know in the comment section below. I cannot promise to answer everyone's questions because in the mining, like the mining community, there's just so many questions. A uh, great resource is the Red Panda Mining Discord. You can easily find that. That guy does a phenomenal job running that Discord channel. That's where I'd recommend you guys looking. There's some also, there are some other YouTube channels out there as well. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm going to wrap it up there. I'm not going to take any more of your time. Good luck mining. And remember, test all these settings. Don't just take them at, uh, at face value. Of course, test them all yourself. And remember, just because you don't necessarily know the right answer doesn't mean you can't try stuff to figure it out. Anyways, take care, guys. Hopefully you've learned something from this.